that. And then today we're going to be doing our monthly budget for March. If that is something that you are interested in, please stay tuned. Okay, you guys, let's get into our monthly budget breakdown. I figured let's just hop right on into March. Like, I'm not even going to <laughs> prolong it. Um, this was February. Uh, let's see what that paid. Let's do a little overview. I didn't do a February closeout. But um, my car note that did get paid. Let me get my highlighter. So my car note did get paid. Car insurance, that's due actually tomorrow, which is the 28th. Um, we end up paying off our loan, so we no longer have to track that. These are two things here that's not going to get paid. Apple got paid, and um, my car note, I mean, excuse me, my car insurance, I've been paying it late for the past couple of months. I know, terrible, but um, it will get paid. I normally pay it around the second week or the first week in the next month, so it'll get paid. And T-Mobile, I don't even know what the total is on this, but I couldn't pay it. I'm also going to do a weekly closeout, and you'll see what happened and why that didn't get paid. But other than that, everything worked out. Um, it's not, I'm, can I complete the week? I have to look back and see how I'm going to see how my income turned out because I did try to track it um, this month weekly. So I'm going to kind of backtrack because I did that month on the wrong page. So I want to kind of keep them in line so I can kind of keep that. And I'm going to set that over to the side. So we are planning for the month of March. Let's highlight that. So let's get into the nitty gritty income here. Nails, Shopify, and here I'm gonna put miscellaneous because sometimes I do sell things online. Also in the month of March, I'm projecting to get my um, income tax. I'm debating on whether adding the income tax to my monthly or just doing that separate, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and add it just for um, whatever pay purposes. So here, I'm gonna stick to 2,500. Nails, I'm gonna stick to, because my nails go up this month, I'm gonna stick to, um, and I do about three people, I got three now that I'm sticking with. Um, I'm not adding any new people, so I'm just gonna do 100. It may come under that. Uh, my battery, no, my um, data ran out. So let's hop in, let's get back to it. So Shopify, um, I'm not sure. Uh, sales haven't been that great. I'll just do 50. And miscellaneous, this will be anything. Plus, again, this will be my uh, taxes. I'm going to go down on the taxes because I owe some taxes. So I'm going to bring it down. I'm just going to say about 2000 on the taxes. So we should have a total of, what's that, 4, 5, 6, 4650 should be the total. So we're going to pay off some things with this amount here. Um, first up, card note. And that's three sixty three eighty one, I believe. Um, next up, car insurance. That will be the twenty. So now that we don't have the loan, we won't be putting the loan next. You know, up there. It's actually the twenty eighth. So car insurance. That is two o six. I'm going to put T Mobile. It's becoming number top priority. T Mobile. I want to pay them up. I'm just going to put 500. And let me double check what we have. Um, we have Ulta. That's due the first. And being I'm going to have this extra money, I want to pay Ulta off because I'm not really using it. <clears throat> we have Amazon on the front, on the first, excuse me. Um, they, they've gone up, so I'm just put $15. We have CMP. 
they've gone well they haven't yeah they went up but then i get a little discount so i'm gonna put 39 dollars shopify shopify i'm gonna put 40 because i did get some labels from them mailing labels walmart Walmart is usually $28. So this is one of those cards I do want to pay off. And we also have Credit One. Now, Credit One is my least credit card. It's only like $300. I do kind of want to pay that off, but I'm going to give them a hundred. Just keep it down. Um, Canva. And Canva is $13.77. I believe that's the 10th. <clears throat> Apple, thirteen dollars. Uh, Capital One, we didn't do that. Capital One, I want to give them a um, hundred. I really want to give them half of that, but I'm trying to save a certain amount from my taxes to start some sinking funds. Also, uh, let's see, Barclays and Citibank, Citibank. I definitely want to give them some money. So I'm going to put 100 but we're going to see what's left from the taxes. And we're going to try to get them like halfway. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is 1000 So we want to try to get it to like 500 And then Barclays, I definitely, they're going to get 200 And they may get more. We'll just see what we're left with. Um, Barclays is the 18th, 17th, 15th. Apple, I'm not for sure. Um, no more loan. Praise the Lord. Wayfair. Oh, Wayfair. Wayfair. I want to give them a hundred. They're doing a twenty-fifth. Um, that is it, I believe. Oh, Insta Inc. And they are in nineteen ninety-nine. And I think that's doing the 20th as well. And that's all. So let's do a little calculating. Let's get our calculator out. Okay, it says we have $2,458.38. Um, $2, I'm going to recalculate off camera real quick and come back and just double check that. Okay, so we made, this is what it totaled up to be. So I don't know where that two something came in. I figured I did something wrong, but anyway, it's $1,888.57. Okay, and we're going to subtract that from the 4650 4, and that leaves us a total of $2,761, so get it together, Yoshida, $2,761.43. So this is what we have remaining that we're going to put into our um, envelopes. I'm so excited. This will be my first cash stuffing thanks to this, but I was determined to put, uh, fund my, fully fund my, um, what is it? Uh, it's a thousand. Let me see. Two. Emergency fund. So I'm just going to write emergency fund across here. And then I want to put another 500 into savings. I really should have put that down here. I want to put another 500 because I'll be helping my knees out when she has her baby. And I'll be not working. So I'm go I was going to do two weeks, but I'm going to try to do a week. So that'll be this here. So let's do the math. That's 1500 I know it's looking a little weird, but it's okay. So, let me do some math. So, 1500 subtract the, the 27, 
61. We're just going to make it even numbers, subtract 15. That leaves me $1,261. Now, I'm not going to use, go to zero, as you all know. I'd love to be a zero-based budgeter, but I can't, and I'm not. So, I won't use up all of this because I'm sure there's some other things that I have to do. Um, I also have, which I didn't include in here, but I have a... Um, a firm loan so I'm gonna put um, just slide a firm over here I'm just gonna put debt and I think I owe like a hundred something more dollars so we're just gonna put a hundred dollars to that a week ahead fun we're gonna fund that with 200 I don't think I'll be doing any cash envelopes I made um, down here for Bentley. I'm going to skip. I'm just skipping. Bentley is my dog. Like, he really needs a makeover. He needs a bath. All that great stuff. So, he'll get it in March. And I'm going to fund him with 150 So, that way he'll have some left over for food. And then this will kind of catch me up. My taxes will get me kind of caught up. And I'm so, so excited about it. Um, I'm Oh, my new category, which I have not shared, will be investments. And so far, I'm going to do about 200 to that. I really want to do more because I sold some stock when I was out sick. And I bought that stock for $24.99. Now, um, it's worth $316, which is, um, which is Microsoft. So, I do want to kind of get back into that. But nonetheless, and then retirement. I'm going to go ahead and fund my retirement fund of 100. So there'll be some left. Those are the main things that I'm focusing on. Oh, one more thing, booth. My booth rent. I want to throw some money at that. So that's another 100. So let's calculate that. Let's see. We have four, five, six, seven, seven hundred dollars $700 here. Subtract the 1261 That leaves me with 561 here. And 561, I can kind of do the math. This should be uh, four. Let me go check. Let me just do it without trying to. Yeah, 411. That was close. I was going to say 461. 411. $411. Oh, shoot. Let me put a circle here. That's what we'll have left. And that wouldn't be total. The total is 150 We have $411 left. So, and I may have more. Keep in mind, I may have more um, than this 2000 But I'm just betting on the 2000 because I, mean, I should have around about five. But I owe um, the state like $2,000-something. So, that's why I brought it down to two. And then, not the state, I'm sorry. The, yeah, the state something like that. I owe them like two. So that's why I brought it down to 2000 because I just want to stay in the low range of it. And even if I don't get the two, I still have some money to play with. But my goal is to definitely fund my emergency fund, um, savings, um, my week ahead. This is a must. I want to catch up T-Mobile and also my car insurance and Definitely want to get back into my investments. I'm kind of teaching myself stocks now. I know a little bit, but not a lot. So, yeah, I am getting excited about that. I will fill out my monthly off camera because it's a whole situation. But, and I already have it filled out on my, in my A6, my regular planner. So, you guys, this is it for my budgets. For March, we'll do like an end of a, end of the month. We'll come back. We'll make sure that we got this total here. Hopefully more, um, and what I'll do with it. But I'm so proud of myself. I've been writing down what I'm spending. I've been writing down um, and just staying under what I normally spend. So I'm excited about that. Also, I'm not doing a lot of eating out, so that has allowed me to have a little 
little extra, which is not even extra. It's just allowing me to pay the bills on time or some of my bills. So that is it, you guys. So if you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more videos like this, please do me a favor. I really would appreciate it. Uh, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so that you can come back for more whenever I upload videos like this. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.